Welcome to Croatia. This is Adriatic Sea. So how to make this seawater drinkable? This is the pump and these hoses. So this one I'm gonna throw into the seawater and this is a pre-filter. Through this hose is gonna be a brine water. So this is the rejection, very salty water. And through here, we're gonna get a fresh water. So first I have to pump it for five minutes. Uh, just to flush it. Before every use you have to pump it for five uh, minutes. So now I'm just gonna throw this in the water. So the water is coming in the system now. It's actually very easy to pump right now, but it should get harder I guess. It's actually very easy to pump. Too easy, but we'll see. Okay, now I'm getting more pressure, yeah. Okay, now I can feel more and more because the system is uh, Okay, now there's more pressure. Okay, so now, see this coming out here, this is the brine water, and this is gonna be very salty. And through this one, we're gonna get the fresh water, and there's always gonna be way more water coming out of this one than uh, through this one. So they said five minutes. It's quite easy to pump actually. See, I don't even have to hold here. I can just go from here. So I guess this uh, white thing is because I'm using it just for the first time. Uh, there's probably some preservative or something in the membrane. So that's why I guess it's getting this uh, milky. I've been pumping now for five minutes. So this is the brine water and you can see it's less uh, milky, which means uh, that the membrane had to be flushed. And in five minutes, this is how much fresh water I produced. So, I mean, it's not hard to pump it, but you know, just try doing this for five minutes. You know, it's not that easy. I'm kind of sweating already. I mean, I would definitely way rather be sailing on that sailboat than pumping this. Uh, but now, okay, let's see the test. So now, this is the empty. And now I want to see how much I can produce in five minutes. So I'm gonna put this in here. It's not hard to pump it. Uh, they say in one hour you can produce four liters of drinking water. So doing this for one hour, I mean, I guess in emergency, if it's very hot, you're gonna probably sweat more than you're gonna drink it. It's a joke, I don't know. We really have to try it. But it does, uh, seems like it does produce uh, fresh water. If this was a winemaker, or a beer maker, it'll be way easier and way more fun. So this is the version two and they're gonna put out the version three, like in a couple months it's coming out and it's supposed to put double the amount of the water. So if it makes uh, four liters in one hour, that's two liters in half an hour, that's one liter in 15 minutes, which means in five minutes this cup should be full. So let's take a look now. Okay, so it's been five minutes. So now let's see how much water we have. So I would say it's around one third. So this is around one good deciliter in five minutes. So times 12 in our one hour, this would be 1.2 liter which is definitely not four liters. So is this working or not? So actually I'm not gonna drink this one, I'm gonna drink uh, the second five minutes I do, just because to make sure it's really flushed because uh, it's uh, used for the first time. But this is the TDS meter. So this is gonna actually tell us uh, particles per million. See, so now it's zero. So I'm gonna put it in here so we can actually measure how salty uh, the water is. So it's reading 743. So as much as I know, anything under the thousand is considered uh, drinkable. Okay, so this one I'm gonna reject. And I'm gonna do another five minutes. I'm looking at this guy, this is the filter. It's kind of submerged, but sometimes maybe it takes a little bit of air. So I'm gonna put the stone. So now when I put it into the water, now it actually sinks uh, way deeper. So I'm gonna start all over again. So put it in here. So let's see how it feels. Well, it feels kind of similar, but let's see. We're gonna do five minutes. So what options do we have? 
So in the survival situation, we can use these manual ones. And this one is 250 euros. There's another brand, Katadin, which has been doing them for a lot of time. And it comes around 2,000 euros. So this is almost 10 times cheaper. Uh, another option is you can have a solar steel. I made a video about that. Or like if you're on an island, you can make any solar steel. Basically, you have to evaporate water using the sun. And then you have to somehow collect it. And uh, well, you can collect rain. And I guess this is more or less uh, the free methods. Uh, so basically, this is the, the selenator. And all the sailboats, you know, cruisers, big ships on the sea use the same principle. It's all the same, just bigger and electric. And you can produce like 50, 100, 1000 liters per hour. Uh, this one is just like manual, so it takes a lot of time and energy. So we have produced the uh, same amount of water. I would say it's one third of this cup, so I would say it's around uh, one deciliter. And let's check with this TDS meter. Now it's 870. I wonder if it's because it's deeper in the water. Maybe it's saltier. I don't know the physics. But yeah, this is... So anything under 1000 uh, TDS supposed to be drinkable. Saluti! Cheers! Nazdravje! Croatia we have Živeli or Nazdravje. So I'm gonna drink this. And then if you're watching the video right now, that means I'm still alive. If you're not uh, watching this video, that means something was uh, wrong with this water. So let's just see how to drink it. So it's fresh. It has a little bit. It has a little bit of how to say like you can it's a little like it's, it is fresh. It's definitely fresh, but I can like feel some aftertaste, very slight aftertaste. So just to, you know, to prove that I'm going to actually drink it. I could be just faking, you know, like drinking a whiskey. So I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to drink it. So, and then I'll tell you what happened with me if I was still okay. So what can I say? So in five minutes, we produced uh, one deciliter. So in, uh, it would take me probably like 12 to 15 minutes for one of this, uh, which in survival situation, I mean, it's way better than nothing. And you can go, you know, slower and then stop and do another 15 minutes. So it would probably keep you like alive. Uh, but you know, judge for yourself, you know. So how does this work? In here, there's a very fine membrane, just like the one you have in the kitchen, you know, for filtering water. But this one is way, way, way smaller and finer. So when you take a sea water and you squeeze it through, everything gets rejected. Only the H2O can go through. And that's what we were getting here. This was only H2O. And like no viruses, no bacteria, no salt, nothing. It's basically like just pure H2O. And through here, we were putting everything else, you know, back into the water. So to squeeze this water through this membrane, this very special fine membrane, you need a lot of energy, pressure. So that's why we have to work so hard to produce so little water. So there's also filters for filtering fresh water. And they go way quicker and you, you, you would produce like already four or five liters of water because you need way less pressure. But to filter the salt, you know, separate the salt from the H2O for the water, you need a lot of pressure. So that's why we produced uh, so little. Thank you for watching. See you next time.